This offseason, Minnesota Fighting Viking Center Garrett Bradbury had himself a bit of a roller coaster. So in the new regime, Kwesi Adolfa Mensa, head coach Kevin O'Connell, offensive line coach Chris Cooper, they collectively did not pick up, well, Kwesi's decision, you know what I mean, but they didn't pick up his fifth-year option uh, that he had being a first-round pick uh, back in the day, 2019. And this, and then this entire offseason went down. The Vikings didn't bring in any significant competition in its center, although they did bring in uh, veterans Chris Reed, Austin Schlotman, as well as Jesse Davis. Davis, uh, but they weren't going to push uh, Garrett Bradbury at center, especially since Davis didn't play center. I don't even know why I said him. Doesn't matter. Also, they could have drafted a guy like Tyler Linderbaum or Cam Jurgens, uh, but they did not do that. So they were clearly all in on the mama, I can change him dynamic. And, and we said at the time, you, you know, uh, you had Kevin O'Connell, you had Wes Phillips coming over from the Rams. Uh, their uh, center, Brian Allen, who they won a Super Bowl with, is undersized, a pride of Michigan State. So maybe it's like, hey, we can make this work. Chris Cooper thinks we can make it work. Justin Riscotti thinks we can make it work. Maybe we'll make it work with Garrett Bradbury. And a lot of fans had the questions. I had the questions, but a lot of the questions have ha- have been answered because ESPN coming out with, with all these uh, cool analytics and metrics uh, competing with PFF and uh, football outsiders, all that stuff. Uh, so they've been doing this week by week. NFL pass rushing, run stopping, blocking leaderboards, all, all that stuff, right? So uh, now, now this was a bit of a poison pill last week because we were hyping up Brian O'Neill and then he had probably the worst game of his career. Well, not probably. It was clearly the worst game of his career. But Garrett Bradbury... Moving on up to the east side, finally got a piece of the pie. So highest pass block win rate as a center. He is beep, bop, 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 poop. Uh, number eight overall, 97%. Now notice that the gap between one and eight ain't that much. All right, so he's winning uh, in pass blocking, which hasn't always been his strong suit. But something you notice, too, is that when Kirk Cousins has been getting pressure, it hasn't been up the middle. It, generally, it hasn't been the interior, it has not been the interior offensive line. Ed Ingram has given up a couple pressures. Brian O'Neill sort of got picked on last week by Cam Jordan. It is what it is. But the, the whole thing, the last three years, we have grown accustomed to Garrett Bradbury being bench pressed into Kirk Cousins' lap and just breaking up a play, and it's no bueno. We haven't seen that. Knocking on all the wood. Also, it isn't like the Vikings have been playing a bunch of slappy nose tackles and defensive uh, interiors. Week one, you had Kenny Clark, who, I mean, Kenny Clark was picking on Ed Ingram to a degree, but really was shut out the second half. The Eagles uh, with Fletcher Cox and Jordan Davis, of course. Uh, the Lions uh, with uh, the real deal with Ali McNeil, the pride of NC State. Uh, the Saints with Shy Tuttle. Overall, I mean, Garrett Bradbury has contorted himself extremely well through these first four weeks. And then, uh, pa- that was pass block, and then you knew that that he could run block, right? So the great things about Garrett Bradbury that you knew that he had great movement skills. You know that he was a solid run blocker, uh, especially in the outside zone scheme, who's tailor fit for what the Vikings want to do out front. And he is also ranked eighth uh, here in this spot. So 73% uh, win rate as a center. Now, with this, there there is a bit of a gap between Creed Humphrey at one, Garrett Bradbury at eight, but Creed Humphrey's just a freak. You know, the pride of Oklahoma is absolutely getting it done. But overall, I mean, also, yeah, you see Pat Alfine on there? Yeah, we don't, we don't worry about Pat Offline, man. Uh, yeah, 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 about that. But uh, overall, the Vikings offensive line has been really solid, knocking on all the wood because you don't want to jinx it. It can certainly get better, yes, as we see in the Vikings. They gave up some very inopportune pressures at times against the Saints is one of the reasons why the game was as close as it was down the stretch. Uh, but with Derisa, Ezra, Bradbury, Ed Ingram, Brian O'Neill, uh, you have guys who are either on the rookie deals or O'Neill's on a second, but he's only 27. So you do have the makings of a beautiful nucleus for this young, good offensive line. Now, if Gary Bradbury cuts and pace the way that he's played these first four games over the rest of the season and playoffs and Super Bowl, He's going to be in line to get paid. Now, the question is, would the Vikings resign him? I think that they certainly would make a concerted effort to do that because they believed in him, even though they didn't pick up his fifth-year option. That's just you know, the business being the business. Uh, but they believed in him. He's working in this scheme. Uh, if he goes to like a power gap scheme, that's certainly not going to work. So I, I think that it would make sense to bring him back if he can keep up this consistent level of play. And, and respect to Garrett Bradbury, man. He put in the work this offseason, uh, put on some good weight, uh, and is absolutely getting after it because You knew he was a good leader. You knew he was good at at making line protection calls. And you knew that he was good uh, at run blocking. And now that the pass blocking is really starting to get things together, 
I think it's working out. Plus, you, you add in the fact that he finally has solid guard play around him. Like, Ezra's really stepping up in year three. Ed Ingram looks to be a, a diamond in the rough, a nice, very, uh, very nice second round find. Uh, and he doesn't have this gong show of Elfline or Dozier or Samia or Ole Udo uh, at one of the guard spots. And you can see why Garrett Bradbury is getting it done, man. So, r- respect to 56, respect to the Grim Reacher. Now, please don't jinx it. Knocking on all the wood. Let's continue this the rest of the season in the playoffs and in the Super Bowl, babe. Let's go. Let's go, man. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. ESPN Analytics. Garrett Bradbury is playing elite at the center position. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.